now. The Columbia City Council is discussing how it'll spend American Rescue Plan Act money to help those affected by the pandemic and by systemic poverty and racial inequality. Thanks for being with us tonight at 9. I'm Deborah Kendrick. And I'm Lucas Geisler. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from City Hall tonight. And Layla, several people at the meeting well, in support of this. Devin Lucas, there was a long line of people in that room ready to address council in support of spending the ARPA funds to address inequalities exposed by the pandemic. People are frustrated and they're ready for that money to be spent. Ward 1 Councilwoman Pat Fowler, along with 4th Ward Councilman Ian Thomas, along with 20 other members of the community, supported it. Fowler is asking for 100% of the $25 million of ARPA funds to go towards providing direct assistance to people most dis disproportionately hurt by the pandemic. Part of the policy focuses on helping 27,500 Columbia residents living below the federal poverty line and the 7,800 students who qualify for free or reduced school lunches based on household income. It would work to address homelessness, racial inequality, and public health issues. Some say this resolution is too premature and want the council to get lots of input from people on how the money should be spent. Some people said they want the money to go towards firefighters and law enforcement. But Fowler said the pandemic exposed the amount of inequity that exists in the community, and several members of the community passionately agreed. There have been massive issues with mental health care, substance misuse treatment, racial inequity, community violence prevention, um, and, and many other issues, homelessness, affordable housing in Colombia. It's very rare that a $25 million sum of money is just presented to a city council um, and they are able to use that money to directly combat these issues that are constantly plaguing them. Now, council is still discussing this policy, but they are expected to discuss the SRO agreement with CPS tonight and an agreement between CPS and local law enforcement. I'll have more for you on that at 10. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Okay, Layla, thank you. And tonight's council also discussed creating a homeless camp on city property to address homelessness in the community, but no decision has been made right as of right now.